Hey everyone, Tim here from QBKing77.com. You're doing a full review of the Nexus 10 tablet, which is recording right now uh, using the front-facing camera, so you can test out the quality and audio quality of that as well. Uh, but let's go ahead and check out the device and give it a run-through. So here it is, the Nexus 10 tablet. Right away it comes with two variants, a 16 gigabyte variant, a 32 gigabyte variant, uh, $400 and $450 respectively. There is no expandable memory, so when you go ahead and make your purchase decision, keep that in mind. Right away you're greeted with an amazing display, a 10 inch screen, um, it's an IPS panel and has a resolution of 2560 by 1600. Yes, I said that correctly. Um, it's an amazing uh, pixel resolution. It also has a PPI of 300, which is higher than the iPad's 264 PPI pixels per inch. Taking a look at some of the internals of the device, it does have a dual core 1.7 GHz Cortex A15 processor. And don't let that dual core deter you. Uh, the processor has been fantastic. It uh, also couples with a quad core Mali T604 GPU, so the graphics are great. I'll get to that in a bit. I'll play some games, high intensive games, etc. It also comes with two gigabytes of RAM. On the front of the device, you have a 1.9 megapixel front facing camera, and on the back of the device, you have a 5 megapixel camera. Both take pictures, both shoot video. Uh, obviously, the front facing camera is going to be a little less quality than the back. Um, the front facing is for maybe video chatting, taking pictures of you and friends. Uh, the rear camera actually takes some pretty good pictures. I'll post some on my website along with a 1080p rear video camera test uh, video I posted on YouTube a little while ago. So you can check that out as well to kind of see the quality of the uh, 5 megapixel camera on the back. The device does have a 9,000 milliamp hour lithium polymer battery, which is okay. Um, battery life has been pretty subpar, actually. With heavy use, it'll last around maybe eight hours watching video, browsing, playing games, etc. So it could potentially get you through the day, but you are going to need to recharge it. And recharging time does take a bit of time. From empty, it's going to take you maybe around five hours to recharge, maybe even more than that. Anyways, I want to go ahead and grab the device and talk a little bit more about the design of it. So on the front, you will notice that there are two speakers, one on the left, one on the right, and they produce very good sound quality. I'll test that in just a second, but uh, it's great that they have them on the front as opposed to the sound going out the back, of course, because when you watch a movie, etc., you want it coming towards you as opposed to going away from you. Anyways, on the side here, we can go ahead and take a look. Uh, you do have a micro USB slot to charge the device, plug it into your PC, transfer files, etc. You have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, which is pretty standard as well. Um, up at the top, you have a power button right there and volume rockers. And then on the right side, you have a mini HDMI out slot, which I showed at the beginning of this video, of course. Uh, you do need a separate cable. It does not come with one. And then you have a uh, connector down here for a dock. And I don't know of any docks that are out right now, right now unfortunately. So on the back, you do have a nice clean look to it. Uh, you see it says Nexus and Samsung down there. It's got a really great feel to it. It has a, kind of a rubbery plastic to it, which allows for you to really grip the device when holding it so you don't have to worry about it slipping out of your hands. A little bit of a different texture up here. Let's go ahead and zoom in on that and check it out um, right where the camera meets it. So again, it's got a really sleek look to it. Um, I definitely like it a lot. But let's go ahead and turn the device on and take a look at the operating system and some other amazing features that this tablet offers. So right away you're greeted with the lock screen. In my opinion, one of the best lock screens out there. It has multiple options that you can uh, mess around with. You have uh, the unlock button right here, which is pretty standard. You also have an option to switch users. So I have two users right here. I have myself and then I created one named Joe, which you can switch to straight from the lock screen. You just tap on it and then you'll see my background changed. I unlock it. The home screen's different. Um, if I wanted to change back to a different user, I can just go ahead and uh, tap on my name once more and then it switches back to mine and you'll see the home screen is completely different. So this is fantastic if you have multiple people in your family, uh, live with someone that also wants to use the tablet so they can have their own synchronizations to it. You will, Of course you can have a password um, when you unlock your device you can have it uh, enter a password so if you want it protected you do not have to worry you can just set up a password and uh, it's locked for you. 
Also another feature of this lock screen is down here you'll see a little circle you just press on it and you can go straight to Google Now. I'll show off Google Now in just a bit. Uh, you have the, um, the clock right here and you can also swipe over and you, can, you have little widgets on the lock screen. You'll see I have Gmail, I have Google Now as well and you can add certain ones. Certain ones you can add is Sound Search, Google Plus, Email, calendar so you have some really great options for widgets on the lock screen so you can also open up uh, specific things so if I wanted to open up the clock I just tap on it and then unlock and then it takes me straight to that clock application these are all features of Android 4.2.2 Jelly Bean which is the latest as of this video I can go ahead and go into settings scroll down go to about tablet and you'll see Android 4.2.2 what's great about this tablet is being a Nexus device it's going to get the latest and greatest Android updates right away straight from Google so you do not have to wait for a manufacturer to put their changes in. You do not have to wait for a carrier to push out an over the air update. Google does it straight from their servers and pushes them right to your device. So you never have to wait for a specific update. So if let's say 5.0 comes out, you're going to get it right away. Also, one more thing I wanted to point it out, point out straight from the lock screen is that you do have a notification bar you can pull down. You'll see you have notifications right here. Uh, with your notification bar, you can actually pinch in and minimize and maximize these notifications, which is a great feature of the notification bar. You can also clear them by swiping them away. So if I wanted to swipe that away, it goes away. Um, also on the right side, if you swipe down, you have a, a little bit of settings here. So you'll notice I've got uh, settings, brightness, um, auto rotate, battery percentage, Wi-Fi, airplane mode, and Bluetooth. And you'll see you have a little contact there with uh, your image. So that's kind of neat. It synchronizes with your account and shows up an image. You can actually set what that image to be whatever you would like. With these icons, some of them are where you can press and hold and change them. I actually talk about that in my 4.2.2 review. I don't want to get into it too much there. Just little specs of Android Jelly Bean. But uh, you can check out that video if you want to learn more about the latest Android operating system. Anyways, let's go ahead and show off this beautiful screen. I wanted to open up Planet Earth, which came with the tablet. I'm not going to go ahead and show any sound, but I did want to show how amazing it does look on this screen. This will be streaming, so you might want to take that into account. It's not just on the device, but it will be streaming in HD. So let me go ahead and just uh, fast forward. <laughs> So overall, you'll see the screen quality is just magnificent. Honestly, it is by far the best tablet screen I have seen personally. Uh, just watching this video alone is just great. I mean, I, I enjoy watching it on my tablet over my TV even just because, especially just Planet Earth, it's, 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 a great, uh, it's a great tablet for watching videos. Anyways, the tablet's also fantastic for playing games. I want to go ahead and try out a couple of games. Um, Temple Run 2 being one of them, so I want to go ahead and test that out. So, load it on up. The graphics are fantastic. I mean, uh, loading games, I really don't see any stuttering in any of the games that I have tried. No lag whatsoever. So we can go ahead and play this one. I'm, I'm not very good at it, but uh, we can go ahead and try it out. It's very difficult through this camera, too. So, um, But you'll, you'll notice when I'm playing, it uh, really doesn't lag whatsoever when trying uh, different things. It's not going to um, stutter or maybe glitch. Any frame rates are going to skip. You really don't have to worry about that playing games. Um, one thing that's kind of a downside is that the screen resolution is so high, developers might kind of uh, forget about that, and uh, some of the games are kind of noticeable that uh, it doesn't fit the screen resolution. So that's kind of one downside of having such an amazing screen. So you'll see I died there. Not a big deal. Wanted to try out and one more game called Dead Trigger. Just kind of a zombie apocalypse kind of game that uh, does take a very short amount of time to load. I have the settings all the way up for graphics. So there we go. Daily reward. Um, I, do, I just want to go ahead and try one out. So I don't know what this is. I'm just going to accept it. And here we go. So it's going to load on up. Um, try out the game. if you, It's free actually. So uh, And the graphics are really good. Um, let it load up and we will go ahead and just kill some zombies. So uh, running through, you can see the, the graphics are fantastic. Um, I mean, even just the, uh, the attention to detail that the developer 
um, has done. You'll see fire extinguisher right there. You can run into it. You'll see it's a little goes to a little bit of a black screen. But I mean, even the fire extinguisher is great. Um, you'll see I'm getting attacked. I'm I'm trying to play this through my camera, so you guys are gonna have to cut me some slack when I die right away. So sorry about that. Uh, I'm trying to do this, but I really just want to show off the the graphics of it and the fluidity of it. You'll see I was getting attacked right away. I can zoom in and uh, just go ahead and mow them down. This is a fun game, so definitely to try it out. Uh, but yeah, that's about all I wanted to show off. You'll see it's not lagging at all. I'm running through the level, and uh, it's got a great attention to detail, etc. So that's about it. Um, but overall, games run great. That quad-core GPU is just fantastic. Again, you'll see it couples with the screen resolution great, and uh, you get a great experience. Multimedia, especially games, movies, Etc. And again, I wanted to go ahead and test out these speakers, so let's go ahead and play some music. Alright, so go ahead and play some music. I can't play any copyrighted music, I apologize for that, but here's one that my uh, good friend has made. Um, it's called 831, and we can go ahead and play it. It's on SoundCloud, and we can hear what it sounds like all the way up, so you can get a good look at that. It's just a, a basic song that just has different sounds to it. You'll hear the bass. Very clear, uh, no muffle whatsoever with that big bass, nothing at all with uh, any of the noises. So there you go, just a good look at uh, a song there. I can try it another one if you guys want. Um, here's more of a bass heavy song. He's just doing some testing in these, I believe, and just it came out pretty good, so. Alright, so there you go. Um, just figured I'd show that off. The speakers are fantastic. Hopefully the camera could kind of pick up that great sound quality. Uh, if you want to check out uh, my good friend Max Music, I'll link to it in the description. I'll link to his SoundCloud or whatever. He has a website as well. I can uh, link to that. But yeah, he's got some cool songs. Alright, I want to run through some of the Android features. Some quick ones. You can press and hold on the home button and go to Google Now. Uh, Google Now comes with this device. You'll see it comes up with these cards letting you know whose birthday on Google Plus it is, whether or not uh, your favorite teams won, some stocks, um, upcoming uh, games, and weather. So Google Cards is great. You can also do some voice search. What's the weather like in Phoenix, Arizona? It's 52 degrees and clear in Phoenix. There you go. So uh, I wish I was there right now, sitting in the sun. You'll see tomorrow. Uh, supposed to get up to 75 so I really wish I was in Arizona right now but anyway some other things other than Google Now you'll see it did have that widget there um, that Google Now widget which kinda condenses your cards into a widget which was also on my lock screen that I showed you have folders so you can put apps drag and drop apps on one another you'll see I have one named Google there you have all your great Google apps um, Gmail, Google Plus, Google Maps it does have a GPS radio which works pretty well especially if you're tethering to your phone or something in the car um, you can try that out, or maybe even if you just have Wi-Fi and you want to try out, uh, you can see direction, etc. Google Talk, uh, Calendar, I mean, Calendar works fantastic, and your camera application. Wanted to get into that real quick. Um, you'll see it is uh, my front-facing camera, and there is me. Hey, everyone. Um, so that's front-facing, and we can go ahead and go to the rear camera as well. I did show off the front-facing camera at the beginning of this video. If I want to take a quick picture, let me grab a pen. So we'll see that right there, a close-up on a pen and go ahead and take a quick picture. You'll see it, it's zero shutter lag whatsoever. It takes them very quickly. Um, if you put it up here, you can swipe from the right and I believe show off some of your pictures and videos, etc. So that's kind of nice there. I will post on my website some pictures that I took. Hopefully I'll get some better ones. I'll try and get some high color ones, etc. inside, outside. So we'll see what I can do there. I'll post some images on my website. So be sure to check that out. Uh, I'll link to it in the description of the video. Another neat feature of Jelly Beans, you got these soft keys down at the bottom back home, and you also have Recent Running Apps button here, so it'll show off all your recent apps that you have opened on up. So if I want to go back to Chrome, I could, it'll load it on up. If I wanted to, let's say, go back into Temple Run, it'll load Temple Run back up. 
very quickly actually multitasking has been great so if I wanted to go ahead and go back to them you'll see it shows a lot of applications as well in your recent running apps just on one page you'll see you've got uh, four five clear applications so you can quickly go in between them go back to my clock application let's say I want to go back to temple run it should be open already and load on up so you'll see it's loading up I can go back and go back to my camera. So you'll see I'm quickly switching between applications and the processor is handling it very well. Um, no lag at all with opening these applications. It's been very smooth, very fluid. What I wanted to show you is that you can go ahead and clear all these applications. I wish there was a clear all button. That's something I'm hoping they're gonna include in Android in a new, feed, uh, in a new OS update is that clear all button. Uh, but I'm gonna reboot the device actually and then I'm gonna run a benchmark so I can show you guys how good it is uh, running a benchmark. Benchmarks, um, I'm not too keen on them but some people like them so I wanna run one. You saw some real, real world performance considering the games, multitasking, etc. cetera. Now I wanna show you a benchmark. All right, so just went ahead and rebooted the device. You'll see no recent apps at all. I wanna go ahead and run Quadrant Standard which is the typical benchmark that people run. I'm gonna run a full benchmark and we will let it run through. Um, you'll see I don't know why, I guess, I guess it uh, has to be in this mode, which is fine. Um, take a good look. You'll see, this is kind of an example of maybe app optimization. Um, you'll notice that some apps have to be vertical as opposed to horizontal. So there we go, runs through that, uh, those CPU tests, etc. So here's a good look at uh, a graphics test running uh, at about 60 frames per second, jumping kind of. So you'll see at this about 52, 53 frames per second. I like the planet test the best. I feel like um, in between those two planets it can get a little glitchy, but it seems like it's pretty smooth around uh, 60 frames per second. Um, and here's the DNA one as well, running about 35, 37 frames a second. So that's uh, just why for graphics. I, I'm, I'm pretty interested to see what the final result is. Let's go ahead and take a look. And you will see your device is 4623, which is okay. It's not amazing. The uh, benchmark results um, are okay. As I said, I prefer real world performance over benchmarks any day anyways. But, uh, but yeah, so I mean, you can always make customizations, what's great about Android and Nexus devices that they're easy to root, easy to install custom ROMs, custom kernels, etc. If you're in the development scene, if not, no big deal. Um, but yeah, you can you have those options. It has a great developer support as well. Just about the last thing I wanted to show is a little web browsing. Uh, go ahead and load up a website. I already did a little bit of that earlier, but go ahead and load up my website, which does have some graphics on it. So it's a little graphic intensive, but you'll see it loads up very quickly. I'm on Wi-Fi, of course, but you also notice how smooth it is. So uh, the website's very smooth um, running through. If I want to go ahead and click on, let's say, just one of these articles that I have written. And you'll see, scroll down, and it, it loads up really quickly, actually. So you'll see this poll loaded up. Uh, comments are loading up now. Um, you have options to share, etc. cetera. Uh, but yeah, images are loading up quickly. Web pages are as well. So overall, a really fantastic experience with Chrome. Google's always improving upon this application anyway, so that would be the stock browser that comes with the device, the, the Chrome browser. That's just about all the features I did want to cover. I want to give some final thoughts on the device, things I like, things I don't like. So some things I do like, of course, the screen. The screen is fantastic. Again, one of the best displays I have seen personally on a tablet, watching movies, playing games. Graphics are great. The graphics processor is amazing as well. So uh, also I love that it comes with vanilla Android, uh, Android Jelly Bean at the moment, but also with it being a Nexus device, getting future updates right away. That's another amazing feature about this tablet is that you don't ever have to wait for those updates. Another thing I do like is the price tag. Uh, the $400, $450 is pretty reasonable for a tablet. Um, so I mean, overall I do like the price tag of it. So now some things that I don't like um, one thing I don't like is the battery life. Again, it could be better. I wish they would do so, uh, it would have been better, but unfortunately it's not. I mean, charging time takes a long time, which can be a little tedious. Um, and also battery life is subpar. I mean, it's not bad, but I mean, it definitely could be better. I also wish there was expandable memory. A micro SD card slot would have been nice, so you didn't have to really think hard when choosing 32 gigabytes or 16 gigabytes. I know Google's trying to go towards cloud storage and streaming music off their Google Play Music, uh, which is great. Uh, but again, some people do like to store a lot of videos and photos, music, etc. 
on their device, so uh, not having that expandable memory could potentially be an issue. But yeah, that's just about it. Overall thin device, uh, not too heavy for a tablet, just about the weight that you would expect it to be. Nice grip on the back, a pretty, a pretty nice look. I wouldn't say it's completely professional, but uh, again, a very sleek look to it. Uh, a nice design in my opinion. So that's just about it. Uh, you'll definitely have to let me know what you think. Be sure to leave a comment. If you're looking to buy one, a tablet in the market, I would definitely consider one of these. Um, it does definitely, as I said, has pros and cons, but overall it's a great media experience, especially if you have access to chargers um, on a somewhat regular basis. Again, as I said, battery life could be a little bit better. But that's just about it. Let me know what you think. Be sure to subscribe as well. I'll be doing future review videos, etc. Uh, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.